Welcome back. Now, what, in your view, should we do about Boko Haram? I think this is the first thing. This country must believe, people must believe that this affects Nigeria generally, not any part of Nigeria, not any part of religion. And therefore, like the civil war, if you remember this country, the whole country was mobilized against secession. There were a lot of unity amongst the Nigerian people, unity against the, the secession. And I think we must accept that this problem is the Nigerian problem, and Nigeria must find solution to this problem. So both everybody should put his hand on deck to fight this uh, phenomenon. In practical terms, how do we begin to, if you like, um, build that unity among Nigerians so that they begin to look at this problem as a national problem? First of all, we might, it, it is a question of uh, leadership at all levels. At the political level, uh, what leaders say, what they do, should be of paramount importance to every one of us. Uh, the religious leaders have also a role to play in this. The businessmen have a role to play. So if people see that Nigeria is united against something, uh, no Nigerian would like to step out of line if we are marching towards uh, getting this Boko Haram situation. Nigeria has to be mobilized against this, and that will make it easier to win the war. From a military point of view, are you surprised at the performance of the Nigerian army against Boko Haram? No, I think you should be asking question. Is this the same Nigeria that became exceptionally known in situations in the Congo, in Tanzania, in United Nations operations, in ECOWAS operations, in all the operations that we participated. Well, the question I actually wanted to ask is, by all accounts, the army, when you were in the army, was a formidable army. And so the question is, what did you do to give the army the unity of purpose it had at the time, the strength and the ability to not just keep Nigeria safe but help other African countries that people in government now could actually do? Um, when I was 22, as a second lieutenant, I have been told time and again that this is the only country I have and I have no option. I should be prepared to sacrifice my life for this country. Now, if you get an 18-year-old boy or 19-year-old boy, or even those who finish from the university, in this modern age, the question is, hell, what is it? What is this um, Nigerianness they are trying to put into our minds? They, 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 they wouldn't give a, a damn about this. And therefore, you have to do a reorientation to get this back. If we look at the generational differences, um, isn't it the case that people like yourself, and perhaps to a certain extent even people my age, we can look at Nigeria and say this is what Nigeria did for us. But we have a situation where these young people that we're talking about between the ages of 18 and 30, to a certain extent, have had to fend for themselves. And so they, they're not able to have any sort of allegiance to any nation because from their point of view, they don't see what the country does for them. And so is the starting point orientation or is it people in government first beginning to take responsibility um, and actually provide the things that they're supposed to provide as government? 
No, the government takes uh, responsibility. That I agree with you. I think I can quote my boss where he says he can, he Which can boss, sir? Who can uh, identify that person? OBG. Okay. He will die for Nigeria. But he wouldn't like to die for his party. This is shows you a man who believes in this country. And he came by this over the years, over training, participation, and uh, talking about people who was like minds and so on. But Nigeria has been good to him, so perhaps it's not surprising That's that he why would die for Nigeria. It, it has been good to all of us. I share that. It has not been that good to the 18 to the 30 year old. That's, That's right. what I'm so saying. So they will say, okay, why, why, why do it? So we have to find a way of addressing the problem of this age group. It's time for a break. When we return, we stay on memory lane and examine a few more controversies associated with President Babangida's time in power. Don't go away. Ray.